more new concept in electromagnetic fields is that electric fields in material space okay like how we are going to experience the fields how their characteristics are going to be in material space not free space so okay the conductivity of metals in general increases with decrease in temperature so that is for metals okay that means conductor metals are it's a, metals are always conductor most probably so huh? so at temperature near absolute zero that is t equals to zero kelvin absolute zero means zero kelvins not degree centigrade that is important so some conductors exhibits infinite conductivity which are known as superconductors so what are the examples for superconductors pb and aluminum what is this pb pb huh? pb is nothing but lead and al is aluminum okay so what is electric current the basic definition of electric current is rate of change rate of what rate of change in charge that is q that is dq by dt okay so what is this current density current density is defined as the change in current per unit change in surface area so if you integrate on both sides you will get integral surface as j bar dot ds bar so this current density is different depending upon how current is going to produce in different materials like conduction current density convection current density and displacement current density so we are going to see about the characteristics of conduction and convection current density now here the leftmost line is of conduction current density and the next line to that leftmost line is for convection current density so coming to the convection current density j that is it does not follow or satisfy ohm's law because it does not involve conductors or conduction current that's why it is calling as convection current density okay it is different from conduction because there are no conductors involving in the current of convection current density so it doesn't follow ohm's law and it flows through an insulating medium such as liquid rare field gas or or a vacuum okay these are important for theoretical bits okay then coming to the leftmost uh, wait wait then the a general statement is that current density at a given point is the current through a unit normal area at that particular point so the general current density is j bar equals to rho v u bar okay and for convection and conduction this is with a current in a filament how it will be the flow of charge with a density rho v at a velocity u bar okay it is nothing but the flow of charge with a density that is volume charge density rho v at a velocity u bar so in that case you can find out j bar using this formula that is rho v into u bar okay so one more important point regarding conduction current density is that average change in momentum of the electron must match the applied force in case of conduction current density so that is nothing but mu bar by tau equals to minus e e bar what is that minus e that is the charge of electron so what is the tau tau is average time interval between collision so from this you can get u bar equals to minus e tau by m into e bar so by substituting this u bar in rho v u bar you will get current density that's how we are going to find out u bar so this relation is for getting formula for u bar right thank you